light. Top of the morning to you, laddies. My name is Z Man Buck. Welcome back to the homeowner series. We're back out in Wyoming, out at the cabin, and uh, it snowed about three to four inches last night. I'm lucky enough that I have so many trees that it didn't drift up. I've heard downtown they have about uh, five to six foot drifts. So what we need to do is I'm already bundled up, as you can tell. And we left the Ford plugged in on the block tonight. And yes, I know, I have a garage. So why might I not be putting the truck in the garage that also has a wood stove in it? Well, I'll tell you why. You see all this snow? We need to go and help push all that snow. And what better than to use a project I was uh, very kindly given by Cooper out of McLean Modding. I did a couple extra tweaks to this bad boy, and this is a truck that I've wanted to do for a while, I just haven't gotten to it yet. So this is a 1988, I'm going to, so I'm going to assume this is a 1988 to 1994 model of the GMC uh, GMT 400. It is a extended cab, regular cab, long bed, short bed, uh, dually variant, but I have done my own little uh, modifications to it. This is a very, very close friend of mine's actual truck. I've been meaning to do this as my own project for however long. I do not know if he'll ever plan to ever release this truck. Uh, he's also kind of pitched words to me that I could technically either finish it off or do some extra stuff for it on there. The one thing I am loving is the way he did the light style. Like once you get the beams to actually show out, those look sick looking like that with the chrome lighting. So uh, this truck is absolutely full up, oh, killed it. But it's got full interior, full things. It, it's a it's a truck. I'll tell you that much. This thing is absolutely phenomenal. Uh, it originally had a CVT transmission just for the sake of drive in reverse, but I threw the four-speed automatic in it and some extra little uh, features. But we need to get to plowing snow because this snow is in the way and it's not going to push itself. So let's put this thing in high. Uh, actually, let's keep it in low because I do have my slippage mod in here. Well, welcome back to the homeowner series guys like I've uh, as I posted in the community chat we actually are closing in on 50,000 uh, public subscribers so if you guys have not yet already be sure to smash that like button and also hit the little subscribe button and see if we can get that goal of at least 50k if not 50k plus by the end of the year you guys are fantastic uh, but we need to get the majority of this yard cleaned out this truck is kind of on the loud side. I have yet to tweak around with the sounds on it yet. It's got a really nice 350 sound. That's currently the motor we got in this thing. But that's kind of clear out. I did have this truck sitting in the uh, in the shed though because of the fact that it, even though I have the fuel additive in there to keep the fuel lines from freezing, it's, it's an old GM. Like yes, it will start, but I wanted to give it the best chance possible. So we put it in the heat. Somebody who was ready to go by this morning. But I think once we get our own driveway here, nice and scooped up. Ooh, it's it's slippery. That's for certain. Once we get our own driveway done here, though, we are probably going to head uh, and just do a couple of these county roads so we can kind of help out with that. And then we also will get the snow blower out, and we are really pushing some snow. It's kind of getting a little heftier down here. It is a good thing I'm not anticipating any mail anytime soon. Now the real question is am I going to be able to get back up the hill? Just give it. Oh, I don't know if we're going to be able to get back up the hill. Oh, she's stalling out. She does not like this in the slightest. It's 
Just give it, just give it, give it, give it, give it. Come on. No, don't get stuck up on the hill. I really don't want to have to go and bail this thing out. That might have to be as far as we go! Holy cow, we're sliding. Can we at least get up the hill? There's a little slick down here. Give it. Oh, she is not liking that. Oh. Yeah, she does not like this. In the slightest. Let's start pushing this side down the hill if we can. Get as much of this snow cleared out as possible. go. I'm just going to reverse up the hill here. I got to get that exhaust leak fixed on this thing. It is way too loud. Like I know straight pipe 350s are good sounding, but this is just a little too loud. I bought the thing pretty dirt cheap though. It is a 4x4. It's obviously got the plow bracket. 285,000 miles on this girl, but you know, she's pretty clean and uh, she gets the job done. We are just gonna park this up right over here quickly. Whoa! Hey, it just stopped! There we go. <laughs> I had to set the plow down, otherwise the truck would slide forward. It does not like to be in here. Okay. Uh, for some reason, it looks like we got a little bit of... Oh, never mind. That's just concrete. Uh, but let's get out our multi-tool here. So we currently have the mower on it. Why I did not get this thing prepped for the snowblower is beyond me. We'll snowblow the rest of our driveway out here. Tractor's having some troubles getting up the hill. I just put it in low so that way we might be able to crawl up this driveway. I didn't realize how uh, slick this thing was going to be while I did this. But what we're going to do is we're going to go grab the GMC. We're going to go and uh, clean up a majority of the uh, county road that leads back to town. So that way I at least have a road to get back to town from here. Uh, we're letting the Ford just run for a little bit so we can keep that diesel in there. Uh, from gelling up as well as uh, freezing. We do have the additive in the tank. We did at least come prepared for that last night. But here we go. Now we can start speeding up. I always hate when the trees glitch out like this. But we'll let that run. We'll put it back in the stall and probably let it run for another 10 minutes or so. But we're going to grab the GMC and we're going to start heading into town. So that way we can really start picking up steam on this. Set this down for right now. Power off. Close these since it's letting the heat out. Let's get on the road. So story time. This is um, about one of my older former classmates. Underclassmates, I should say. 
he bought a truck like this. I think it was a 2002 GMC. Or it was an OBS like this. It was a 9802 or 912, whatever it was. It was one of these generations of trucks. And uh, he was out snow plowing. This dude was out there snow plowing county roads at 55 miles an hour. He hit a, like a, a low spot of some sorts and he snapped his front axle. So yeah, note to self guys, if you're ever going to go snow plowing, do not do it at 55 miles an hour. You tend to break stuff like that. Now we're starting to make progress. Yeah, rough road, no duh. These county roads better be better. Now, the kid is how far back can we get? Come all you young rounders. Story I'll tell of the promise of heaven and the warning of hell. I take heed where you ramble, or too soon you will go way up on the hillside where the new flowers grow. Well, he met in the springtime, the sun sang low. Two star crossed lovers in the still melting snow. Where well, the loving was easy and the courting was brief. Well, they called her a beauty. Called him a thief in the quiet of the evening, they'd steal away where the laughter would flow and the fiddle would play. Where well, the folks called it wrong, but hell, it seemed all right. In the sun painted picture. Okay, so I think that's enough cleaning of the roads this morning. I've kind of lost my pants about four times. I'm trying to keep this truck on the road. I'm not about to lose my Easter just because of the fact that I just want to clear snow, so maybe we'll bring out the snow blower to go clear out the rest of those roads, but for right now, I'm leaving it at that, because that's good enough for me. we're going to do now is we're going to go get the four-wheeler rip around on the trails for a little bit and then we got to get to work and we will uh, probably cut some more firewood down because I got some of it on the trailer right now but I need to get more of course because that stove obviously you know kind of eats wood we'll just set this over here for right now because there's nothing really to it 
I'm really gonna need anything on it. So yeah, if you guys want to go and ch oh, don't leave the lights on. But yeah, if you guys want to go check out Cooper's stuff out of uh, McLean Modding, he's released a handful of mods, being the 2016, I believe, F-150 Crew Cab. Uh, a lot of more or less stock farm trucks. Uh, one of those depictions does look like this, just a couple different rims. Like I said, I've... I've, tw I've done my own modifications to that truck, but it's a fabulous truck that he's obviously done a lot of work to, uh, and a lot of his other projects are like that too, but we are going to grab the four-wheeler, which is in here, and we're going to go rip around for a little bit. Fire this puppy up. Take her out for a little spin. Pitch out the side a little bit here. Yeah! Grips it! Yeah! Twelve seconds later. Oh, don't get stuck here. Don't get stuck here. See, it makes this interesting now is the fact that I have that slippage mod in here, it really makes it not want to get up these hills. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get out of here now. There we go, this might be our spot. This might be the spot. No, it's not, no, it's not, no, it's not. I literally like cannot get up my own driveway. This thing is just slippery. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Well, that was a rather interesting trip. I honestly don't even think I got anything accomplished doing that. And I am definitely not taking that out to go get any more wood, because I don't even think I'm going to be able to get out there. The only truck I think that might actually be able to do it, because this thing is a brute, is the 250. That's like the only truck I have, because the GMC... I have to take off the plow, and that thing's already shown that it's just going to spin. So I'd have to use the Ford. This thing is a beast in the snow. I mean, I got those Continentals on there. It'd be better if I had the Pirellis that I had on the Dodge. Heck, I should have brought the Dodge out here and got some, got some stuff. I did not really come prepared. But I think, because of the fact that I can't seem to get anything done today... That's probably going to do it for this video, guys. Be sure to smash that like button, subscribe down below, so I can get a new pair of tires for that four-wheeler. <laughs> I think I'm just going to sit down, watch the rest of my programs, maybe watch some Bob Ross, and call it for the day. Because I physically can't do anything. But with that being said, guys, be sure to check out the Boomstick Club for all the up-to-date content from me and the gang. You guys already know who is in it, and I shall see you guys all in the next one. This is the Rental Man out. <laughs>